Hi everybody. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of a land tour um, and just kind of explain some of the plans that I have for this place that my husband and I just bought this year. So just to start off, we do have a little trailer house that was already here when we bought it. Now this is the front porch and what I plan to do, maybe, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna landscape this whole area in front because this is a really hot, the sunny side of the house and just go all the way around the porch um, and do lots of landscaping. I want to focus a lot on pollinator plants, lots of butterfly bushes, some roses and things like that. And then when you look out the front porch, you get this big open field here which the hay was just cut today and they're rake my dad is actually raking it and everything and it's a good size field it goes straight to the road up there i'm thinking about maybe i'm toying with the idea since it is a big open space maybe putting in some sunflowers and wildflowers and just spreading them out around here not the whole field probably because that would be a mess but a good chunk of it and just I'm toying with the idea of that I'm not sure yet and then as we walk around this big it kind of goes into a big wooded area here and then when you get to the back of the house it's really shaded because we have these big shade trees there's two of them and it keeps the house really cool which is really nice but it's heavily shaded so my plan for this space is bringing these stairs out since this is kind of where we park and everything bringing this space out and then building a deck like with pallets and everything which I plan to film building a deck through here probably start off just to here and then maybe build it further so I can put some chairs, some potted plants, because nothing really is gonna grow here very well. Even the grass doesn't grow here very well on this spot. So it's just really shaded. So I think that would be my best bet. We have this, this pit was, fire pit was here before we bought the place. I'm gonna take that apart. I don't really like a fire pit around here. And in a moment, I will tell you why but I don't like a fire pit here, so I'm gonna take the bricks out and probably use those for the deck or the landscaping or something. And I planted a bunch of bulbs around this tree. Nothing has come up yet. Um, next year, though, I think, I don't know, they were old bulbs, so I don't even know if they'll come up, but this I dug up from my mom's yard. It's a lilac or some sort of sedum. It looks like it has purple flowers on it. It seems to be doing well. This soil around here is very dry, rocky, very hard soil, so I'm kind of playing with things to see what works and what doesn't. And then we're going to clear out all of this in front of the house. Um, and there's a bunch of trees that go, that's the driveway out. Trees that go out, I think we're going to keep as many of those bigger ones as we can. But we do want to clear out a lot of the more not pretty trees, shade trees, and take out a bunch of those. And then I want to plant some. My husband really likes pine trees, so we're thinking about planting a bunch of those. I don't know if they'll get established too good here or not. It's really hot in the summer. Don't know how well that would work. Um, but I was also looking at tulip trees, some flowering dogwoods, just planting them up and down this way because that's where the driveway is. So when people drive in or I drive in and the flowers will be out, I think that would be really pretty. So that is the front half of the property. This is the driveway end. And then when we walk out this way, this is my favorite place in the whole place so far because that's where my food forest is. We have this little wooded area. We just trim the limbs a little bit if we're driving through, but I'm pretty much going to keep all of that. Um, and this is where the food forest, we enter into the food forest. I gotta be careful. 
full because this time of year copperheads are out really bad and this is copperhead country we've already seen three and I do not want to get bit by a copperhead so I kind of this is their their domain so I try to stay as careful as possible I've already done a bit of a food forest tour there's a lot more that I want to do with this it changes all the time um, I've noticed I might need to trim these trees up a little bit because it is so heavily shaded things aren't um, getting very much sun so they're not growing super well the asparagus loves the shade they're doing really well but I'm kind of just been planting stuff up and down this fence that was already here but I think what I'm going to do next year is clear it out this patch here way more so I can um, have a little bit more control over things. I wanted to keep it as wild as I could, but it's just um, kind of hard to control. With the weeds, it's too competitive, and the sun, my berry bushes aren't doing too well because they don't get enough sun, so I need to amend everything just a little bit. But it is about 20 degrees cooler in this space than it is out there just because of all this nice shade. And I don't know how big of a food forest I'm gonna go for. I'm not sure yet. I don't live here full time yet. I'm going to move back around October-ish, November-ish. So then I can start really planning for things. This road goes out this way. I'll go, we can walk out there and see what's out there, but it goes around here too. And everything slopes down. I'm not sure what I want to do with all this. I'm just kind of playing it by ear. But I was thinking, since my food forest is back behind me, what I'm going to do is, since there's a little path right here, and there's a big sunny area right there, because there's the house, is plant my little mini orchard right on this corner. Because I'm only going to have like eight trees max, probably. Little semi-dwarf trees, so they won't get super big but I need to install a hydrant out this way so I can put some soaker hoses on them and they need some uh, water access. So I don't know though, because that culvert, when I dig it out, it drains right this way. So that might work. I, I, I don't know, I'll have to look at everything. This is a process for sure. I'm kind of just doing this to get more of a layout of the land, watching the sun, looking at the soil the pests, the weeds, everything that I might have to amend. I'm just trying to get an idea of what I might need to change for future goals on the little homestead. Interesting story of the place is, this is the food forest. Um, you can see a little bit of burnt stuff and some old foundation and that fence that I'm actually planting stuff along. There used to be a house that sat right here long 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 time ago and it burnt down and how interesting is that my grandpa was actually came and helped fight the fire on this place and there's still a lot of it that's <clears throat> there's melted bottles <clears throat> there's old foundation it's just kind of cool to see the history of the place and know that my family was kind of involved with some of the historical significance of the area. I'm also thinking about installing maybe a, well, I definitely want a tornado shelter up here because it is on top of a hill, a really tall hill. And we have had some very strong winds that knock over big trees and I don't want a tornado to come get me. So thinking about into, uh, putting in a tornado shelter somewhere. But I'm also thinking about mm, a makeshift root cellar, big root cellar to put maybe right here. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Might want it closer to the house, but something right here is really cool. It's cool around here. So if I used it as a um, root cellar too, oh, look, it's a deer. Lots of deer around here. Don't know how a garden would work around here because the deer are insane.
that was funny. And then past the food forest a little ways, our neighbor's property is right here. I'm not going to show that. But this structure here, old milk barn. I would get a little closer, but there are that. We, that's where we found all the copperheads. So, and I'm not right wearing the right shoes to go parading around copperhead nest in there, but that is the old milk barn and it's full of like old jars. I already took the milk stool out of it um, to save. Unfortunately, it is in bad enough shape. We cannot try to save it. I was really upset. I wanted to try to save it so I can move some of my dairy cows up here, but uh, it's just, it's falling apart. It's pretty dangerous to be in actually. But this actually, when the house was sitting right where I just shown you, that was their milk barn that they come out and milk their cows. So that is really neat. We're saving a lot of the old barn wood off of it and using it for picture frames. And um, there's some of it in my house actually on the bar uh, area. And I really like using things from the property and just kind of since the barn is going to be torn down probably eventually just for safety reasons and space and everything i want to save as much of it as possible that is a nice mimosa tree did not know that was there hmm i would like that to be closer to the house but maybe i can dig up some saplings from it that's good to know that deer is around here somewhere too. I don't know where it went. So if we went and walked towards the milk barn more and went around the corner, that's where we're going now. We're going the other way just because copperheads, chiggers, it's grown up pretty bad around there. So I'm just gonna go the more clear path and I'll show you what's over there. Okay, so the old milk barn I just shown you was right past here. So if we would've went around this corner, this is what would've brought up this really nice barn they used to use it as a compost barn. That's why it's got these four, three or four little sections here. But it is really nice. It's got water and electric, and I'm thinking of using this to put calves in. Maybe the dairy, one of the dairy cows, I don't know. Maybe some goats, I'd like to get some goats. Um, but it is a really nice barn. And this is just a little clear <coughs> patch in front of it and this whole forest area it goes way far back I'm not gonna go back there today because it's too hot to be walking around but a uh, huge forested area it's really nice lots of nice trees there's a lot uh, that are down that I actually need to get split and cut up for winter um, and then this is just looking in front there used to be a shop right here, but it was in really bad shape, so we had it torn down. But it is big, clear area. It'd be nice for some goats if I had a fence. I could put some goats around so they can keep it clear. So, to show you the reason we had to be careful about fire. Boom. This place was a operating chicken farm at one time. For Tyson's. It hasn't been in operation for years and years, but we have to be careful of fire because they are not insured right now and probably won't be because they are very expensive to insure because they're not operable, but you have to insure them like they are. And there's four of them. I think they're about 400 foot long. Um, they have electric, they have water. We can go in one of them. We just use them for storage right now, but I have an idea. I need to put some goats, put up a fence right along between them, put some goats in there because taking the brush hog in and out of there is an ordeal. So that's what I should do is get a bunch of goats to keep it clear. Just to kind of give you a little bit of an overview inside the old chicken house. Uh, here's the door <coughs> and it comes down. This is a heater, I think. I don't know what some of this stuff is, but there's lights and I mean, it's a good size structure. But I'm thinking, and I'm not gonna fill the whole thing with them, but there's a bunch of junk in here. 
I need to go around and look at the foundations because stuff has been digging under them because it hasn't been in operation for a while. But really patch that stuff up and then this would be the perfect place to put some turkeys and chickens to keep them out of the elements and keep them safe. So that's just kind of an overview of our place, a little bit of a land tour and some plans I have. I do plan on filming as much of it as possible um, and just kind of seeing where it's going with this old chicken farm turning it into a homestead it's gonna be pretty interesting I don't know I haven't seen anyone else on YouTube or anything that has an old chicken farm that they're trying to turn into a homestead not a, a functional chicken farm again so It'll be interesting to see. I hope you follow along. 